All right, guys. This is uh, your basic starter kit for uh, survival supplies. Uh, it's some uh, this right here. It's water purification tablets with a uh, PA plus. I haven't tried it yet, but I looked it up and I guess it works pretty good. This is a five-in-one survival tool. It's got a waterproof chamber for matches, a whistle. It's got a flint uh, strike pad right there. You can hit it and get spark to start a fire. Compass, and it also has a signal mirror inside of it. Uh, got all my ammo right here for my uh, nine mil. I got about 300 rounds right now. Fire starter bricks. These work pretty good. I've tried them out. Uh, I like them. Uh, barely had to use any any kindling or anything to get the fire going. Uh, dental picks for uh, you know you can use them to clean your weapon or help keep your gums healthy whatever it is zip ties canteen cups for purifying your water of course you got to have toilet paper uh, rope for building shelter uh, restraining people whatever's necessary with it uh, this I tried and I did like it for the most part it is a uh, uh, commando saw uh, works fairly decent uh, if you're in a bind solar shower that's not necessary but it nice to have a uh, whole bunch of medicine I got a thousand pills of Tylenol and a thousand pills of ibuprofen camouflage duct tape regular duct tape two emergency blankets basically it's uh, aluminum foil <laughs> But I get they work pretty good. We used them when we were, when I was in the military. Uh, blister relief, you know, if you're out walking a lot, you're gonna get some blisters on your feet. Uh, matches, uh, flashlights. I got two of those. Uh, extra batteries for the flashlights. Plastic sheeting, of course, a whole bunch of water. Uh, glow sticks for signaling. More fire starters and flares. Flares can be used for starting fires as well as for signaling. Uh, also I recommend you get a good knife such as uh, this one right here. Uh, a case to keep it in as well as a uh, sharpening stone. Uh, let's see here. I don't think there's anything I forgot. Uh, also of course you uh, need to have a good gun. This is not the best gun that you can get, but it uh, definitely will work to uh, get the job done. It is a high point uh, C9, uh, 9mm, it, about 150 bucks. you can pick it up, that's what I spent on it, brand new, uh, and it's a decent gun, I mean it shoots pretty good. So, And of course, you want to have a padlock to uh, secure all of that stuff. You should also try to have a bigger saw. Uh, like an actual hand saw in with it and uh, you know, I'm sure there's some other stuff I just can't think of it um, if you guys can think of anything that I'm missing in here just put it in the comments below so that I know uh, and that way I can look into getting it thanks